the weirdest chip I've ever heard of. Ginger beer chip. It's collaboration time. Kettle and Bundaberg ginger beer in a chip. Linda hates ginger beer, but she likes chips. I don't know what's going to happen here. If you don't know about Bundaberg, it's a famous region in Queensland. It's famous for Bundaberg rum, sugar cane, and ginger beer from Bundaberg drinks. At Kettle, we're passionate about creating great tasting chips. We go to great lengths to source the very best ingredients for our delicious flavour combinations. Now, what better pairing for our golden Aussie chips than with the great Australian brew, Bundaberg Ginger Beer. We've been inspired by the folks up north to create a seasoning like no other, sweet with the zesty flavour of real ginger. This deliciously crafted treat is pure magic. Cheers. I don't know about magic, but okay. Cheers. So we figured why not get a bottle of ginger beer and a packet of kettle original chips and then we've basically got ginger beer chips. Should taste the same, right? Soggy maybe, but I guess the same. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? So Bundaberg's about four and a half hours up the coast from Brisbane. Six dollars a packet, full price for the chips. It doesn't really smell like ginger beer. I don't know. You smell it. Maybe my nose okay, is broken. Okay, YouTube, can you smell that? Smell the vision. It smells like ginger. Oh, it smells like pickled ginger, like in sushi. It does smell a bit sour. That's all yeah, I can it's, it's got that like light pickled ginger. Yeah. Alright, let's go. They look the same. Oh, perfect plating skills as usual. Typical. Alright, let's see if you can open the bottle of ginger beer though. What? Do I have to tip it upside down or something? Invert bottle before opening. Oh, it's going to explode. Tap, tap the bottom for good luck. You know how you do that on aluminium can? No, I don't to do stop that. stop it from That's bubbling? That's such a lie. Better not make a mess. So you tapped it and didn't, didn't bubble. Ooh, that smells so much stronger than the chips. Oh god, that smells bad. All right, so if you come to Australia and you see this in restaurants, it'll be in that small bottle form, not in that big bottle. This one here. Yeah, that's the classic. Except it's not normally diet in the restaurant. Here we go. Cheers. They're sweet. Sweet, but also sour. A little bit of like tang to it, but not, not that gingery. That's what it said. Sweet with the zesty flavour of real yeah. ginger. It's kind of like if you eat fresh lemon, like peel zest. It's kind of got that tangy, zesty flavour to it from lemon peel. But you, I would guess more citrus than ginger if I was blind tasting it. Yeah, I wouldn't say ginger. So you oh, probably. I don't know. It makes my tongue go funny. Linda bit. also hates lemon and citrus desserts. <laughs> so even if it was lemony, she wouldn't like it. It's not as bad as I thought it would yeah. be. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like ginger beer. But it is sweet. Sweet. Is and... this better or worse than those raspberry zesty twisties? Better. I can totally eat these so much better. Those raspberry twisties were super sour. I reckon I could eat a packet of these in front of a movie or something like that. I'd rather not, but I could eat them. They're not too bad. Interesting. They're not bad. Should I drink this now? See yeah. if it's the same. Cheers. Similar, actually. It's got some... Yeah. Similar tasting notes. 
gonna say yeah, that is actually pretty much the same, but not as strong. Now we eat the plain ones. These will be a bit saltier though. That's pretty similar. <laughs> a little bit saltier, but I like that better. <laughs> with that, <laughs> with the aftertaste of the ginger beer, it's kind of got very similar notes to it. It is actually pretty good. Well done, Kettle. You're like the first one of these sort of things. Because like we've had, you know, those chocolate biscuits we had that were meant to be like... Malteser. Malteser flavour and um, Mars flavoured. They were yeah. not similar at all. And also there were some other collaborations that we've had that are not similar. So this is very good for a, for a ginger beer lover. I'd say the chips are a bit more tangy though. I think they're trying to recreate a zing from the bubbles. Yeah. It is very similar though. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's because I'm super tired now or what, but this doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> no, they, they're good. I don't hate it. Because <laughs> they're just like sweet chips. It's interesting for a kettle flavour though. But what about if you eat the ginger beer chips and then you drink the ginger beer? That's what I'm doing now. It's good. Yeah, that works. Not as bad as I thought. I'm happy with that. I still prefer these though. All right. You know what? As a collaboration, I'm going for like a ginger beer lover. I'm going eight and a half. That's a decent collaboration. Yeah. When I saw that in the catalog, I was very skeptical. I was like, there's no way that's going to be good. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised too, so... Yeah, you hate ginger beer and even you're eating... I know, but something's wrong with me today. I think I'm just... Because I can even drink that and that tastes okay, whereas normally I can't even drink that, so... I don't know. Call me on a good day for kettle, ginger beer. Linda's very low <laughs> energy today. Very tired. Seven and a half out of ten. Not bad. Pretty good. I thought it was going to be a two no, from you good. when I bought it. Pretty good. Sorry to disappoint you. Didn't get to make me as sad as you wanted. Well done, Kettle. New South Wales. New South Wales making a Queensland classic. Worth a try. Yeah. Comes highly recommended. And if you've never had Bundaberg ginger beer before, what the heck, man? What are you, a sex speed drinker or something like that? Nah, you got to drink Bundaberg ginger beer. It's the best one in Australia. And... For a ginger lover, these chips are now the best chips in Australia.